Hello and welcome. So this is an update already of my no waste year 2017 and I just wanted to come on here and be very clear and very honest and just start sharing my journey so far even though it's been a couple of days and yeah just be very honest with you because I feel like with any lifestyle or any movement it's very easy to get caught in the idea that that person's perfect and you know they're not creating any waste and they're being very perfect but I want to be very honest and really show you everything I create and sort of the thoughts that go through my head and yeah so I'm going to start first by just showing you the waste I created on New Year's Eve so I was planning to start on January the 1st but it doesn't really matter you can kind of just start whenever you want and I yeah, I went out with some friends and I created this amount of waste and partly it was because I wasn't even conscious of the fact that I was doing this challenge yet. You know, I'd set this challenge but I hadn't really come to a conscious, I don't know, mindset that this is what I am doing and I've been trying to work a bit more about that over the last couple of days. But basically what I did collect is so my friends were playing a gig for New Year's Eve and that's what I went and did and they gave me this first piece of waste which I can reuse the string actually but the first piece of waste is this laminated backstage um, music pass which I got for Saratoga Springs I don't know one night New Year's Eve thing so that was kind of the first piece of waste that I got which is this and then there's also the string so yeah I wasn't gonna say no to this because this is what got me in for free and also got me to be you know in the experience so that's not a piece of waste that I was gonna say no to and um, they already had the pass ready to go it wasn't like I got a, a choice or anything like that another piece of waste that I created was we went out to eat and I didn't even think about it we had stainless steel cutlery on there but we got sushi and I automatically just opened these up and cracked these open and I had some waste from chopsticks which you know I just totally didn't think about like when you when I'm first starting this off I just haven't created that awareness again and you know it, it's crazy because I used to have it and then I stopped doing it, I stopped really actively practicing it and I've kind of lost the awareness, not completely, but like just of the little things, like not even thinking about small actions and just doing them automatically. Um, so that was another piece of waste I created. Another thing was this, which is I went to the bathroom and I was just like kind of zoned out and you know, washed my hands and I grabbed a paper towel and I didn't even realize it and I like grabbed it and as I touched the paper towel with my wet hand, I was like, <gasps> but it was too late because I'd already kind of touched it. So that was another thing that I just, you know, it was like, okay, I'm going to keep this and, you know, share that because you just, you don't think about those things. You just have no, you know, even paper and things like that, you just have no awareness about it. So another thing that happened was, oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta get my waste out of my jar. So my, me and my friends were pretty hungry because we, they set up their set and then we had to wait a while before they actually got on stage. And we're really hungry, so we just like went and walked around. And there was a person who was selling pretzels, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll get a pretzel. And so she went to get the pretzel. She put plastic gloves on to get the pretzel, which was like okay. And then she went with like this. A piece of paper to grab it and I was like no 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 just grab it with the gloves and give it to me in my hand so instead of like wrapping the pretzel in a piece of paper um she you know I managed to take it off her I was a little bit I wasn't rude but I was like oh like I realized what was about to happen I was like oh no just just give it to me in my hand so I got that without the waste well kind of um but then she gave me mustard and I just didn't think about it and I ripped open a little sachet of mustard and put it on my pretzel and it's just like yeah I just don't have the awareness again I've totally lost it and it's it's really kind of scary because I used to have it and now I'm, I was just like I think that night I was kind of just a little bit out of it like I wasn't drinking but I was just yeah it was just like a busy night and I was just sort of a little bit all over the place and was just like oh I don't know what's going on so I was wasn't being very aware and then another thing is that when I went to meet up with my friend is I created this because she like offered me like a box of Christmas chocolates and was like oh yeah here you go totally didn't even think about it and I was just eating these little chocolate Hershey kisses with tin foil and like some other chocolate mint thing that came in wrapping and yeah afterwards I was like oh man like it was just a night where I just wasn't thinking at all 
So another thing that I had is I cut off this tag off one of my, I don't know, it was like a Christmas decoration my grandma gave me actually, but I cut the tag off. So that created a little piece of plastic waste and then there's the tag. Um, but that was something that I already had, which was a little bit different. And then, oh my God, my hand's going to get stuck. Oh no. I have a little apple sticker in here basically is what I was going to show you. <laughs> so I have another Hershey Kiss thing, but um, there's in there, you can see the sticker that was on, it wasn't on an apple, it was on a pear. So that was all the waste I created in one day and I just felt so defeated at the end of it. I was just like, really? Did I, like, I set this challenge up and I really just within one day managed to create, you know, this much waste and I was just I was quite disappointed with myself but you know I'm not gonna like go well oh I've already failed like you know because that's not what it's about for me this challenge is about just trying to bring that awareness back that I used to have that I have completely lost so yeah I just wanted to come on here and share with you how my New Year's Eve went in terms of waste and yeah this was just from New Year's Eve I think yeah New Year's Eve New Year's Day I'm oh, not New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve day. Yeah, something like that. So anyway, I hope this is interesting for the guys who are a part of this and who are watching this challenge. And yeah, it's not about perfection. It's really not about perfecting, being perfect. It's about being, being, trying to make progress and just creating that awareness again. So yeah, I don't know. I will see you in the next update. And yeah, I hope you realize that it's not as easy as you might think it is. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, bye. See you next time.